Okay, great. Um, we have two general public comments on the Zoom, no in person today. Our first public commenter on it, LA, I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself and then you will have te two minutes. Uh, you almost said 10. I like that better. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm here. I want to say from last the last meeting when Commissioner Davis was running the meeting, it was the best meeting, the public uh, works meeting that I've ever been to because him and Ms. Pohl, they, they just they spoke eloquently. They're calm. They listen to everybody. And then and then Commissioner um, Davis did an amazing thing. He actually accepted the feedback about putting about reading the agenda item first, then letting the presentation happen and then following up with public comment, because a lot of times the presentation may answer our questions or give us more questions. So I, I want to just give a shout out to him for that. And I'm hoping that that will continue as we go forward. Uh, my public comment is, though, I'm still coming for the same thing. My absolute concerns as to why the Public Works Department will not <laughs> intervene with, um, the, with all this endless permitting from um, the Bureau of Street Services at Scientology on L. Ron Hubbard Way. It has been closed continuously since June 1st, and now they have closures all the way through September. It's enough that people want their street back, and I'm asking you to please notify Mr. Yanes to please stop uh, endlessly rubber stamping these uh, permits and open up our streets back. I'm also asking you to please open up the emergency lane that they are by, required by permit to have, but they do not have, and with a, uh, an entire two-story crack in their building right there on a four-story building, they need to make sure there's an open uh, emergency lane. So whoever's, you know, whoever is stamp, uh, rubber stamping these violations and the ADA violations for the planters, I am pleading with you to step up and make it stop, or at least Thank tell you, me caller. That's two what I can do. All right. Our next public commenter, caller Ramona, if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes for your public comment. Good morning, commissioners. Thank you so much for the time. Um, again, I'd like to re-say about the L. Ron Hubbard Way, the emergency lane. Um, I was completely um, taken aback the other day. Um, yesterday, I was seeing that they not only have the same planters on the north and the south entrances, so an emergency vehicle can't get down there, but they've added a couple. And there was no foot traffic whatsoever. There's no event truly being held. It is a name only. And that crack that Audit LA was talking about in the building, there was a chunk that fell off from it and it almost hit somebody. Um, the city attorney, the attorney on your board and your commission, they need to take a look at this and they need to be aware that this violation is going to hurt somebody. Thank you, and I yield back my time. Thank you, caller. Thank you for uh, for those comments. Wonderful. Thank you so much um, for reestablishing quorum. Welcome back. Uh, such a lovely graduation. Thank you so much to Devin and to Roman for organizing everything, all the details, uh, and uh, we wish all of our graduates the best. Um, thank you, and welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's reconvene our meeting. Uh, we've established quorum, so now we will take up items, I, I want to say one through seven. We have uh, some assessment hearings, and um, Mr. Flamenco, I'm going to take up items one through seven, read the titles, and then I'll, um, I think we have a public comment. Correct. Yeah, I think we have public comment, and uh, we'll take that up. Um, and uh, if our city attorney can just give me guidance here, we have somebody for public comment on all items. Um, and we're taking up items one through seven. There should be no more than 10 minutes total allotted to one public commenter at a single meeting. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Then why don't we take public comment first and then I'll read all of those into okay. the record after. Great. Audit LA, if you would like to start your public comment, you'll have two minutes. 
Yes, um, thank you. First of all, I would like to congratulate the graduates. I, um, I know it's off topic, but I'm sorry they deserve it. And I'm also going to ask the commission to please give them each a letter of recommendation that will go far in a competitive job and educational market. That being said, on this project, I would like to um, discuss, you know, okay, because it's about lighting. And lighting has been a serious issue there and everywhere in the city because, as we know, there's a, you know, copper wire theft, et cetera. But, but so I'm asking as they do this plan and they're working to fix this, that they also um, keep in mind the, um, the, communi the ADA community that it is very hard, I, I, you know, to go through with all the, it's so dark. And I have to actually, I'm in a chair and I have to put light things. I have to buy all this extra lighting to try to light me up, you know, so I can AC the, the sidewalks, which are usually in disrepair. And, um, and also so people can see me. So lighting is really crucial. And so I'm asking that, um, and I, you know, I wish you had put the speaker first because they may have answered a lot of my questions. Like um, Commissioner Davis did at the last meeting. He, you know, um, reversed it, which makes sense. Let them speak because maybe they will answer my questions. But since they haven't gone first, I just want to remind you to please, with every one of these projects, because they're very important, we need lighting. Lighting is something that... Um, it for safety as well, you know, it, it, it's easier to commit crimes against another person in the dark. And it's a serious issue, but I'm asking you to please also keep in mind as if they're doing any kind of, cut, um, you know, curb cutouts or uh, call boxes to cross, anything like that, that you really set it up in a way that is absolutely wheelchair friendly because... I can show, I would love to submit video of recent projects that are new uh, to say how it fails the ADA community. And I don't want that happening with this project or any of the other projects that we're talking about today. Um, since I only get, I guess, five issues that I will, um, can talk on, I will, I guess, pick and choose. But I, I, you know, I do want to really say, please, please keep in mind the ADA community. Because right now, I'll be honest, uh, with everything, I've been coming here for well over a month, and none of the ADA issues that are absolute violations are being addressed, and that concerns me because I'm, um, you know, how am I? How can we trust you then to be there for the ADA community for this project and for any other project? Thank you. I yield back any time that I may have. Thank you, caller. That was our last uh, public comment for item number one and through seven. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Let's move on then to item number eight, and this is uh, with the Bureau of Engineering. And Ms. Torsky, I think you you mentioned that we have uh, a caller on the line for this item. We do. We have one public comment. Caller Audit LA, if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you will have two minutes for your public comment. Thank you again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna reiterate that on this agenda item, I really wish you would have the speaker speak on it first. It just makes the most sense. Um, many questions could be answered based on that. Sorry, I have the folks. Um, uh, what I'm asking you to do is your due diligence and making sure that every element is really scrutinized and make sure there's no uh, corruption involved. There's no anything um, that would cause any future lawsuits or problems because I've been coming here for a long time with certain issues within your own city departments that you run and there's concern. So that concern for me transfers over to this project, to every project, because if, the, if there's issues you know, all from, and I'm not blaming the commission, I'm not saying it's you, but if there's issues under the departments that you manage for other issues, then there could be for this issue. So I'm just asking you as a commission to be really diligent, to be really keeping your eyes open. And not only that, when you see there's an issue, you hear there's an issue, that you would take next steps because it is alarming to a citizen of this city to see a lack of action on, on items that are pretty egregious and no action. So I'm asking you now to be proactive 
because it's easier, you know, an ounce of prevention, is, like they say, is worth a pound of cure. So be very preventative um, and make sure that nothing, you know, ends up becoming a problem for the wonderful citizens of Angelinos who are trusting you with Caller, their public work. if you can work. please stick Thank to the you. item at hand. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was this item. I mean, I'm sorry. It, it is this item. I want you to deal specifically with this item to make sure there's Thanks, no caller. future that's, Thank issues. you. That's time. Uh, on it, LA, if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes for this agenda item. Yes, hi. I wish you would, um, on this agenda item, um, let them speak first because, as we saw in the previous item, they, they, they were, it, there's, it's not even on the agenda that it was a ADA uh, project. And I have, I would like follow-up questions. But on this project... I don't know if it's ADA related or not, but I'm going to say the same thing, that every project needs to be really mindful of the ADA community. Um, I applaud, uh, you know, the city and the last presenter for, um, you know, doing what it takes to get elevators that are needed and different and lighting that's needed, all these things. It's great. I applaud all of you. But um, I'm just asking you to be really mindful that sometimes even when you're making these changes and doing things like that, that unless you really get it from the perspective of somebody in a chair, you may miss something. Um, I have so many instances where it, it, it just it doesn't quite hit the mark. And it's a shame to invest all the money in this, and I'm talking on this project, on any project, that if it hits the mark for the ADA community, um, it's a shame because with the, really the scrutinizing and getting the real input and letting and maybe giving a um, somewhere where we can work with you or some kind of connection that we can because you don't have a disability coordinator. I've been begging you guys who is the disability coordinator because on this project, on every project, I would like to be able to talk to that person, but there isn't a person. Um, and so that's a problem. And so who do I talk to? Who can I reach out to to show because I can't bring videos for or, or to show you what I go through with public works projects. Who can I send it to that may listen and say, okay, you know what, this is a great point. Um, what can I, you know, what can we do different? So I'm asking for this project, for all the projects that are have anything to deal with, anything that could possibly be ADA related, elevators, crosswalks, anything like that, to please let the, let the ADA Thank community you, caller, know where we minutes. can reach out. Let's move on then to item number 10, and this is a joint report uh, with BOE, BCA, uh, Sanitation, Street Lighting, and Street Services. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to take a public comment. Um, and if you can let us know how many minutes do we have for the caller. Yeah, caller, I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself shortly, but just for the record, we have 73 seconds left, so about a minute and 13 seconds, which has been reflected on our clock okay. uh, per the board rules of 10 minutes All right. per And if commenter. she can stick to the, the uh, item at hand. Great. Thank caller, you. I go never ahead not and... stick to... Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I never not stick to the item at hand. Um, Mike, um, I want to hear more from the BSS in their report because you don't let them go first, so we don't really know what they're going to say. So I am going to ask BSS to please include their plans or what the, you know, for future closures of L. Ron Hubbard Way. Um, and you cannot say I'm off topic because you didn't let them go first. So I am asking to please include that into the report and also the two pending applications. Are you going, are they going to um, approve them? And because now we're all the way into the end of September. Can you please let us know when do you believe L. Ron Hubbard Way will open up to the public again? I reserve the rest of my time for the next um, item. Thank you. We have a public speaker, or has she exhausted her time? We do. Uh, if the com public commenter would like to speak on this item, uh, there's 28 seconds left per the 10-minute allocation in the board rules. Okay. Um, so I'll... Ask the caller to unmute yourself if you would like to speak on this item or one of the upcoming okay. items. Thank you. Yes, I want to um, encourage the BOE to um, recruit DBE and DVBE um, uh, corporations, uh, you know, contractors, because your numbers are low, too low in that category. So please be proactive and get them. But thank you uh, to ask them to um, bid. But also thank you for considering our money and to ask to reject this bid. 
And thank you, Vice President, uh, Commissioner Villegas, for pushing your department to give the public more information. You kept us in mind, and I salute you for that, and I thank you. And I'll yield my time. Great. Thank you, caller. That was the end of uh, the 28 seconds, so that is the 10 minutes allocated per board meeting. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you.